Hello and welcome to the start of Season 4 and the 2026 Formula 1 season for my F1 23 Lamborghini My Team Career Mode. We've had testing here in Australia and now it's time to go racing for the first time and we are on pole position alongside Alpine's Pierre Gasly. Then it's Sonoda and Carlos Sainz, Hamilton and George Russell, Norris and Max Verstappen, Piastri, our team and Esteban Ocon, Leclerc and Liam Lawson, Bottas and Joe, Stroll and Bocher, Fittipaldi and Albon, Sargent and Dennis Hauger and on the final row of the grid is the two houses headed by Kevin Magnussen. So we're here on the grid then ahead of the first race of the season and we put it on pole position looking for some redemption here in Australia. It didn't go too well last time we were here last season when then we took out our teammate Michael Schumacher at that point in time that feels like a very long time ago but not many driver changes we've got a new engine in the car can Honda take us to the title it's lights out and away we go for the Australian Grand Prix we get away well alongside Pierre Gasly into turn one Gasly can I get up the inside of us we lead into the first corner now out to the first corner in the background, the Ferrari and Yuki Tsunoda are going well as well. But most importantly, we lead the Australian Grand Prix in the first couple of corners as we light up the rear tyres, nearly lose it. And now towards the end of lap one, this is Gasly, Alpine, so strong in testing, and they're showing their pace here. Gasly all over the back of us as we head to the third DRS straight. No DRS yet in this race. Gasly goes to the outside. We show him the door, push him wide. He has to back out of it. So no, is still ahead of those behind. I think George Russell in the Mercedes has got past the Ferrari of Carlos Sainz as we enter the final corner to complete lap one of the Grand Prix in this season. Lap two now. Once again, down a new one section of the track. Gasly's all over the back of us again. He goes to the outside. He has to lift for some reason. There was still a lot of space to the outside of us. But now he's thinking about setting us up for the next corners. We have a big tank slap of overs there. That's allowed Gasly to overtake us. But we're going to send it late. Do what we did on that one. Show him the door. He has to back out of it. And we keep the lead of the Grand Prix going into the final sector and the Alpine engine has gone bang Peter Gasly challenging us for the lead he's now out of the race shocker for Alpine they've been looking so strong in testing and so far this weekend but he's now out of the Grand Prix and on the sidelines as our soft tyres started to go off lap 7 we had no defence to the Alfa Romeo of Yuki Tsunoda that's now been powered by Audi but in everything but name that team now but we were just about staying in touch with Yuki Tsunoda Yuki started on the mediums and SNS just, just just trying to stay in touch in the early stages of this Grand Prix but we've got the DRS on him now lap 12 we're just a little bit too far back Max Verstappen's got himself up now into the podium places Red Bull looking for a much stronger season this year that they had last season and the season before that as now end of lap 12 we're going to box for our one and only stop of the day onto the medium tyres to get us to the end of the race if everything goes smoothly Sonoda's going to go longer so we'll see what tyres he goes and see how far he gets on those mediums because we may have quite a nice gap to him but have the team found us a nice gap to slot into now as we exit the pits and they have just at the road is the Alpha Tauri, but we've just about beat up the Alpha Tauri of Dennis Hauger. Someone's locked up there. There's now Hauger right behind us, but he thinks about it to the outside. It's a good job. We covered him off. As now we can get after those in front and make a gap, hopefully over Yuki Tsunoda. We're now on the back of Liam Lawson. 
AlphaTauri looking shocking this season once again, but it is only the first race we'll see what they're capable of. As now we're right on the back, we're basically pushing him round the couple of corners. Now down the inside of Liam Lawson, up past him now, and we can get on with our race. This, I guess, this is probably a um, open race for Liam Lawson, being from New Zealand. New Zealand very close to Australia, but finally lap 14 is on two laps extra. Yuki Sonoda boxes from the lead of the Grand Prix. Alpha Romeo hoping as they go into the hearts that Yuki Sonoda can win some races with their car this season. We're out of the pits. So now we go through and into the lead, roughly in the net lead of the Grand Prix. And Sonoda just beats out Liam Lawson in his Alpha Tauri. Is Lawson going to have a look? I don't think he is. As now. Fitter Paldi can really help out his teammate here if he can keep us behind for a while. But he's not going to do that because we're going to go sailing around the outside of the Brazilian, our former teammate from the, from the first season of the career mode. And now back up into the lead of the Grand Prix. The two Alpha Tower is now battling. Oh, they were battling because the engine has popped in the back of that Alpha Tauri and Dennis Hauger is out of the Australian Grand Prix. Meanwhile though, we really had the pace on these medium tyres. Sonoda on the Haas, not really sure what Alfa Romeo were doing really. The Haas really don't look to be the way to go as George is all over the back of Yuki Sonoda. We're just keeping the gap out front as Max just gets past Lewis Hamilton and now George is trying to get past Yuki Tsunoda and does get past Yuki Tsunoda in this Grand Prix up into P2 but Yuki's not having any of that because one lap later he's coming back at the Mercedes same place pretty much copy and paste of the move that George Russell did on him and he's back up now into P2 lap 26 George isn't done there this is a great battle George is doing the same thing again to the inside on his mediums the hard tyres of the Yuki Tsunoda I feel like they've gone the wrong way here of Alfa Romeo but on to the last lap we bottled it last year we are going to get some redemption and win the Australian Grand Prix Fantastic, amazing, you deserve that race win. Well done, mate. Witnessed some great battles on the streets of Melbourne today then, and they've taken a fantastic win. So, Natalie, what made the difference out there today? Well, what a race. At the end of the day, it is all about war pace, and our winner had it in spades today. Well, what a thrilling end to an incredible Grand Prix weekend. Our top three finishers should be incredibly happy with what they were able to achieve out there today. So that's been your Australian Grand Prix and the first race of the new season then. We win in Australia after two seasons of coming very, very close. Season two, not so much. Last season, definitely, when we made contact with Michael Schumacher from the lead in that very much wet race. Alfa Romeo, though, I feel like they've thrown away a chance at a win here. Losing out to George Russell in the end. Finishing P3 Yuki Tsunoda. I don't think the hard tyres were the way to go. Going longer on the mediums, surely going to the softs would have made more sense. And plus, he would have been all over the back of us because those soft tyres probably wouldn't have gone off. So really, they've thrown away a chance of the win today. So 
have Alpine really because Gasly was very quick in those opening couple of laps until the engine pops. Alpine looking like they have the best car on the grid but if it's not reliable it means nothing and Dennis Howe got the other retirement of the day. Piastri for us though kind of got stuck in a DRS train and finishes P10 and Teo Pacher on his first outing in Formula 1 having a bit of a shocker. I think he made contact with one of the horses and had no pace fell back back to box and that was his race done. The constructors then Mercedes who lead from us from Alfa Romeo, Red Bull, Ferrari, Alpine, McLaren, Williams, Austin Martin, Haas and Alfa Tauri. Mercedes back to the top by one point over us 28 points to 27 as they go for their 12th Constructors World title this season. But that's been then your Australian Grand Prix and the first round of the 2026 Formula 1 season, the well-awaited 2026 Formula 1 season, we've got some redemption in Australia after the past couple of years. We go to Miami next for the first time since 2022 and we're going to be hoping to make it back to back this season. I'll see you then. Goodbye.